ಸಾಯಿ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ರ ಹಾಯ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸಕಲ್ ವಿಜಯ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸಡ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಓವರ್ ಟು ದ new chapter that is trigonometric equations that also we shall discuss here at least we shall discuss the concept of the trigonometric equations so trigonometric equations also very very important actually so regarding to the uh, competitive entrance examinations so now okay still i think joining mm. yes behra ಗೋಪಶ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇವರ್ ಆಪ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಗೋಪಶ್ರೀ ಪ್ರವಲ್ಲಿಕಾ ನಾಗಮಣಿ ಮಧುಶೇಖರ್ ಓಕೆ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅನಿತಾ ಯು ಆರ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸೊ ಹಲೋ ಗಾಯ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸುಶೀಲಾ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಎಸ್ಟಡ್ ಐ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಫ ಫರ್ ಅಸ್ ಜನರಲಿ ದ ಲೈವ್ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಯು ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಲೈವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ನೋಟಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಟುಡೆ transformations okay. so now today's first problem cos square 76 degrees plus cos square 16 degrees minus cos 76 degrees into cos 16 degrees equals to okay first option 1 by 2 second option minus 1 by 4 third option 0 fourth option 3 by 4 diploma m1 m i na classes cheptara so that will be started after completion of this session yes we will concentrate on diploma also m1 also yes but it will be useful for your reset so better follow it particularly this chapter okay now the cos 76 degrees this is cos square 16 degrees minus cos 76 degrees into cos 16 degrees is equal to 
okay might be ap or telangana is same so let us solve this problem what is the plan means first let us change this uh, cos square 16 degrees in terms of sin and just this is actually 2 cos a cos b formula so we can write cos of a minus b into cos of a plus b so let us apply our plan now solution now the given expression this is cos square 76 degrees cos square 16 degrees in terms of sin 1 minus sin square of 16 degrees can i write like this and this is minus half into multiply with 2 divide by 2 this is 2 cos 76 degrees and cos 16 degrees so i followed the this step now okay so now the sanju you might have joined today itself only okay so cos square 76 degrees and 1 plus write down here minus sin square 16 degrees minus this will be 2 cos a cos b 2 cos a cos b means cos of a minus b cos 60 plus cos of a plus b cos of 76 plus 16 is actually you will be getting that is uh, 92 degrees now this is cos square a minus sin square b cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b okay now this can be written cos of a plus b 76 plus 16 is cos 92 into 76 minus 16 so that you get now cos 60 so this will be minus of into cos 60 is 1 by 2 plus cos 92 degrees so now we have 1 plus this cos 60 is 1 by 2 this will be 1 by 2 cos 92 degrees minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 4 and minus of cos 92 degrees so now just observe what will happen so of cos 92 degrees here of cos 92 will be gets cancelled we have 1 minus 1 by 4 equals to 3 by 4 so here fourth option is the right option absolutely correct everybody everybody okay am i audible to you yes or no am i audible screen visible kalyan teja samir nagalakshmi gopasri yes thank you thank you thank you prasanna right so this can be done one shortcut we have that i i would like to explain to you for example we have one shortcut cos square a plus cos square b i will write here cos square a plus cos square b minus cos a cos b always equals to 3 by 4 provided provided if condition is there a minus b is equal to 60 degrees so you remember this shortcut so you remember this shortcut please note down this is important okay cos square a plus cos square b minus cos a cos b is equal to 3 by 4 if a minus b is equal to 60 let us check here in this problem now 76 minus 16 degrees we have 60 
that is why option is 3 by 4 directly we can write the answer convert cos square into sin why uh, why should we means actually uh, mastan in order to apply cos square a minus uh, sin square b formula so that means i will write the formula here also cos square a minus sin square b this formula we have cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b so as to apply this formula i changed so this uh, cos square as 1 minus sin square 16 degrees so you might have got an idea Second question, okay, second question, cos x plus cos y equals to 4 by 5 and cos x minus cos y equals to 2 by 7 then then 14 times tan of x minus y upon 2 plus phi times cot of x plus y upon 2 equals to first option is 0, second option 1 by 4, third option is 5 by 4, fourth option is 3 by 4. So, this is the question. So, that means cos x plus cos y is given as 4 by 5 and cos x minus cos y is given as 2 by 7. Then we need to find out 14 times tan of x minus y by 2 plus phi cot of x plus y by 2. Okay. So, now solution let us make a plan like this cos x plus cos y upon the cos x minus cos y write down. So, this equals to we have 4 by 5 upon 2 by 7 am I correct now. So, this is divided by this one now. So, now we get cos x plus cos y is in the form of cos x plus cos y is in the form of uh, cos c plus cos d that we can write 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos x plus y by 2 and cos c, uh, c minus d by 2 that is cos of x minus y by 2. So, equals to this is cos c minus cos d minus 2 instead of cos sin write down that is all both signs cos of x plus y by 2 here sin of x minus y by 2 equals to the 4 by 5 into 7 by 2 this will be 2 1 ja 2 2 ja this equal to 14 by 5 am I correct now this 2 2 gets cancelled cos x plus y by 2 sin x plus y is cot of cot of x plus y by 2 this will be cot of x minus y by 2 equal to equal to this minus 14 by 5 add on because this minus is there 
you cross multiply minus. Again this we can write uh, cot of x plus y by 2 this cot we can write 1 by tan that becomes tan of x plus y by 2 equals to minus 14 by 5. So, just cross multiply it just cross multiply it. So, if you cross multiply what do you get now here cot of x plus y upon 2 into 5 because actually this the cross multiplication takes place. So, this equals to minus 14 tan of x plus y upon 2 bring minus 14 tan of x plus y by 2 this side. So, we have 14 times tan of x plus y by 2 plus phi cot of x plus y by 2 equals to 0. So, now you check the option now. So, first option is the right option. Once again you observe the solution. Sir, what is the CD method? CD method, not CD method, that is actually called CD rule, componendo dividendo rule. Okay. Yes, here is a small change. Let's correct this one. We need to correct it. Yes, this will be tan of x minus y by 2 okay. so cross multiplication also this will be minus and this will be minus right absolutely correct yes x minus y by 2 Okay. So, next uh, sorry in first question. cos of a cos square a minus sin square that is a formula. So, you watch my video compound angles you will be getting that uh, venu. So, I have discussed that formula also. Question number 3 cos theta equals to cos alpha minus cos beta. upon 1 minus cos alpha into cos beta then then tan square theta by 2 into tan square beta by 2. equals to thank you first option is tan of alpha by 2 second option is we have tan square alpha by 2 third option is cot of cot of alpha by 2 fourth option is cot square alpha by 2 so, one of the viewers here asked a CD rule. Now, I am going to explain CD rule itself only. So, 
now it, it is visible it is visible now okay uh, minus 14 by 5 means actually that is uh, in the denominator uh, numerator we have minus sign that actually i transported that side ramakrishna don't put this kind of symbols and pubg also okay thank you so what is the plan means here cos theta is equal to cos alpha minus cos beta by 1 minus cos alpha cos beta then we are asked tan square theta by 2 multiplied by tan square beta by 2 ok uh, what is mean by m416 i do not have the idea once again just uh, m416 i do not have the idea ok leave it now let us make a plan reciprocal of cos theta write down that is 1 by cos theta equal to like this interchanges we can write 1 minus cos alpha cos beta switch of the fan by cos alpha minus cos beta ok now let me explain let me explain Akhil please stop this kind of uh, uh, discussion this may distract ok ok apply C D rule apply C D rule so, let me explain actually one of the viewers asked me what is meant by this is actually C D rule C A by B equals to C by D that implies A plus B by A minus B understood equal to C plus D by C minus D this is nothing but C D rule. So, please remember once again I repeated several times. So, please do watch my previous videos, we have lot of applications on this one. So, now let us apply C D rule here. So, A for 1, B for cos theta, A plus B, 1 plus cos theta upon 1 minus cos theta equals to, now this is actually C, this is C, this is D c plus d so 1 minus cos alpha cos beta plus cos alpha minus cos beta and upon 1 minus cos alpha cos beta and we need to subtract this one we need to subtract this one so we get minus cos alpha minus cos beta changes to plus cos beta so, now the 1 plus cos theta by 1 minus cos theta componendo dividendo C D rule means yes componendo dividendo this is ratio and proportion you will be getting. So, now the 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2 1 minus cos square theta is 2 sin square theta by 2. So, that we can write this directly this is cot square theta by 2. Now, we need to factorize numerator and uh, denominator. So, let us arrange the terms 1 minus cos beta So, now we can take out uh, here plus cos alpha common from these two terms from these two terms. So, plus cos alpha take out common plus cos alpha we have 1 minus cos beta this is numerator denominator by here 1 plus cos beta write down as a one group from the rest of the terms you can take out minus cos alpha common we get 1 plus cos beta. So, now from the numerator take 1 minus cos beta common denominator 1 plus cos theta common. So, let us do it now. So, 
so now here see the cot to square theta by 2 equals to 1 minus cos beta common we have 1 plus cos b cos alpha we get it this is numerator whereas the denominator can be written as 1 plus cos beta is taken common out we have this is 1 minus cos alpha again 1 minus cos beta by 1 plus uh, cos beta can be written tan square beta by 2 1 plus cot 1 plus cos alpha by 1 minus tan, tan alpha is cot to square alpha by 2 but we need to find out see the question once again let us come to the question we need to find out here tan square theta by 2 and tan square beta by 2 so tan square theta by 2 means reciprocal of this one right on so tan square theta by 2 equals to we have this 1 by tan square beta by 2 into cot square alpha by 2 we can write it so let us come to the problem what do you require now tan square beta by 2 so cross multiply if you cross multiply here tan square theta by 2 into tan square beta by 2 becomes 1 by cot square alpha by 2 that is nothing but tan square alpha by 2 is our answer so which is the right option so second option is the right option yes absolutely correct right shortcut method means actually here you need to select the alpha and beta values so if you take alpha is equal to 0 beta is equal to 0 it won't be possible isn't it now you need to take alpha is equal to 45 and beta is equal to something 0 you may get it but instead of that better you adopt this method now So, next fourth question tan 7 and half degrees equals to what is the value of tan 7 and half degrees tan 7 and half tan 7 and half see the first option 2 root 2 minus 1 minus root 3 upon root 3 minus 1 second option 1 plus root 3 by 1 minus root 3 third option 1 by root 3 plus root 3 fourth option is root 2 plus 1 by root 2 this is the question ok tan 7 and half right so now we need to find out tan 7 and half degrees so this let us find out like this now so we have one formula we have tan a is equal to cosecant 2a minus cot 2 a cot 2 a here put a is equal to 7 and half degrees so tan 7 and half degrees is equal to you get now ok 
ఓకే సైన్స్ సెవెన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ కాస్ట్ సెవెన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్డ్ ఇన్ రామిరెడ్డి గారు ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్డ్ ఓకే సైన్స్ సెవెన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ యాక్చువల్లీ యూ గెట్ కొసీ కెన్ టూ ఇన్ టూ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డిగ్రీస్ బై టూ కొసీ కెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డిగ్రీస్ సో మైనస్ కాట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డిగ్రీస్ దిస్ వీ కెన్ రైట్ వన్ బై సైన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డిగ్రీస్ మైనస్ వన్ బై టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డిగ్రీస్ సి వీ హ్యావ్ సైన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డిగ్రీస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ వన్ బై టూ రూట్ టూ వేర్ యాజ్ టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డిగ్రీస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ మైనస్ రూట్ త్రీ ఆర్ వీ కెన్ రైట్ రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ రూట్ త్రీ ప్లస్ వన్ బై టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఓకే దట్ ఈజ్ రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ వన్ బై రూట్ త్రీ ప్లస్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ మైనస్ రూట్ త్రీ సో నావ్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ సెవెన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ డిగ్రీస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ సెవెన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ డిగ్రీస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వీ కెన్ రైట్ టూ రూట్ టూ బై రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ వన్ అండ్ మైనస్ వన్ బై టెన్ మీన్స్ ఇయర్ రూట్ త్రీ ప్లస్ వన్ బై రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ వన్ టేక్ ఎల్సిఎం రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ వన్ సో వీ గెట్ రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ వన్ ఎల్సిఎం ఇయర్ యూ గెట్ టూ రూట్ టూ మైనస్ రూట్ త్రీ మైనస్ వన్ యూ చెక్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ యూ చెక్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ సి టూ రూట్ టూ మైనస్ వన్ మైనస్ రూట్ త్రీ ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఇస్ ద రైట్ ఆప్షన్ ఎస్ ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఇస్ ద రైట్ ఆప్షన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫిఫ్త్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫిఫ్త్ క్వశ్చన్ టూ కాస్ స్క్వయర్ త్రీ తీటా మైనస్ వన్ ఇంటూ కాస్ ఫైవ్ తీటా ఈక్వల్స్ టు ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటూ cos 11 theta plus cos theta second option of into sin 11 theta plus sin theta third option వన్ బై టూ సైన్ లెవెన్ తీటా ప్లస్ కాస్ తీటా అండ్ ఫోర్త్ ఆప్షన్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్స్ వన్ బై టూ ఇంటూ కాస్ లెవెన్ తీటా మైనస్ కాస్ తీటా సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఆప్షన్స్ డేట్ ఆఫ్ ఎమ్ సెట్ ప్లీజ్ ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ద ఐడియా ok so now two cos square 3 theta minus 1 into cos 5 theta so this value we need to find out here see just observe this one this bracket this will be in the form of two cos square theta minus 1 in compound angles already we have discussed this is nothing but cos 2 theta so that means theta is equal to 3 theta here this becomes cos 6 theta that's all so that means now let us apply that plan now here let us execute it so now the given expression can be written this 2 cos square 3 theta minus 1 multiplied by cos 5 theta so equals to so this is written with the help of that formula cos 2 times 3 theta that is cos of 6 theta into cos 5 theta 
now this is in the form of cos a cos b so let the, uh, multiply 2 and divide by 2 half into this can be written 2 cos 6 theta cos 5 theta you may have doubt why should we multiply like, like this because we have the formula for 2 cos a cos b 2 cos a cos b equals to so in terms of cos we can write as a sum of the cos functions cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b or cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b we know the, this formula okay so this we can write it now half into cos of a plus b cos 11 theta plus cos theta so that means first option is the right option very good very good very good very good now the seventh question one minus cos a plus cos b minus cos of a plus b upon upon 1 plus cos a 1 plus cos a minus cos b minus cos b minus cos of a plus b equals to first option first option sin a by 2 cos b by 2 sin b by 2 cos b by 2 second one sec a by 2 sec b by 2 so now the third option tan a by 2 cot b by 2 tan a by 2 tan a by 2 cot b by 2 fourth option 2 sin a by 2 cos b by 2 the question number is okay sixth question right okay thank you question number is 6 right move now uh, right thank you for reminding me so now here we need to plan 1 minus cos of a minus b write down here 1 minus cos of a plus b write down then here uh, cos b minus cos a and cos a minus cos b so let us make a plan like this now so now this can be written like this 1 minus cos of a plus b plus cos b minus cos a okay upon so 1 minus cos of a plus b write down and take minus common from cos a cos b that we can write cos b minus cos a so here we need to apply the two formulae simultaneously the first formula is 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 so next we need to apply cos c minus cos d cos c minus cos d is equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2 and sin 
d minus c by 2. So, you remember these two formulae, these two formulae. Okay, now, we get like this. Now, this 1 minus cos of a plus b, here 1 minus cos of a plus b. The 1 minus cos of a plus b can be written as 2 sin square of a plus b by 2 and plus cos b minus cos a. So, cos b minus cos a is 2 sin of a plus b by 2 into sin of a minus b by 2 upon. So, here also to 2 sin square a plus b by 2 and we have minus 2 sin of a plus b by 2 and sin of a minus b by 2. Okay. This we can write it. Now, now let us come to next page. So, now here you can do one thing, this is equal to 2 sin of a plus b by 2 common 2 of a plus b by 2 common, we get sin of a plus b by 2 and plus sin of a minus b by 2, am I correct now? So, next actually here if you take uh, this sin of a minus b by 2 sorry sin of a plus b by 2 common sin of a plus b by 2 common just we get only minus change here. So, in the next step we get like this see divided by 2 sin of a plus b by 2 common into we have sin of a plus b by 2 minus sin of a minus b by 2. Here what happens now? These two gets cancelled. It gets cancelled. So, now this can be simplified like this. See this is equal to we can write for our convenience a plus b by 2 can be written sin of a by 2 plus b by 2 plus sin of a by 2 minus b by 2 we can write it. So, this we can write sin of a by 2 plus b by 2 and minus sin of a by 2 minus b by 2. In transformations first formula we have studied. So, now here sin of a plus a by 2 plus b by 2 plus sin of a by 2 minus b by 2 is 2 sin a by 2 cos b by 2. This will be interchange, we get 2 cos of a by 2 and sin b by 2. This 2 2 gets cancelled, we have tan a by 2 into cot b by 2. Let us see what is the answer now we have tan a by 2 into cot b, b by 2 is the answer, this is the answer. So, let us check it now, tan a by 2 into cot b by 2. So, third option is the right option. Okay. Right. Madhurima next gopasri behra raju everybody is correct shortcut means you can put a is equal to b is equal to 0 nana you will get it you will try behra 
put a is equal to b is equal to 0 and verify the options also. If two options satisfy, then change the angles. So, that is the shortcut. Next question number is uh, eighth question. Am I correct now? So, now the seventh question. sin a plus sin phi a plus sin 9 a upon cos a plus cos phi a plus cos 9 a. So, now the first option is tan 3 a, second option is tan phi a, third option is tan 4 a, fourth option is tan 2 a, this is the question. Okay. So, sin a plus sin phi a plus sin 9 a upon cos a plus cos phi a plus cos 9 a equals to. So, that means if you put a for 0 what will happen means all the options will be satisfied that the problem is there. Sometimes the substitution method may not be applicable for the all the problems. So, generally uh, okay generally when you have actually options are independent of the angles that is the better to substitute the values. Substitution method we can follow. Here one thing let us do it. So, let us regroup the terms 9 a sin 9 a plus sin a write down and cos 9 a plus cos a write down. So, let us regroup it sin 9 a plus sin a plus sin phi a write down. Here cos 9 a plus cos a plus cos phi a. You can have a one doubt in your mind why should we change like this? So, very simple technique you do it now. So, 9 a plus a becomes 10 if you divide by 2 it easily the 10 a is divisible by 2 and also you will be getting phi a understood now. So, that is the reason we need to do like this. So, here sin c plus sin d formula we need to apply sin c plus sin d and next we need to apply cos c plus cos d. So, these two formula you need to remember. So, this equals to sin c plus sin d formula 2 sin 9 a plus a 10 10 a by 2 phi a and cos 9 a minus a 8 a by 2 4 a plus sin phi a. So, in the similar fashion the cos 9 a plus cos a cos c plus cos d all our causes you will be getting. So, here 2 cos phi a you will get it instead of sin phi a cos phi a cos 4 a also here you get cos 4 a plus we have cos phi a. That means, if you observe the numerator the numerator 
sin phi a is we can take sin phi a we can take out common in the denominator we can take out uh, cos phi a common out. So, let us see now what do we get if you take the common out like this. So, this becomes sin phi a has been taken common out we have 2 cos 4 a plus 1 upon. So, if you take cos phi a common out from the denominator again we get 2 cos 4 a plus 1. Now, you can expect the answer. So, this this gets cancelled we have tan phi a yes option 2 absolutely correct. Sir, I cannot understand the problem. So, better watch the previous videos, videos any new viewers are there please watch my previous videos definitely you will get idea ok right 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 right. So, now Now, the eighth question, eighth question cos x plus cos y plus cos z equals to 0 equals to sin x plus sin y plus sin z. then cos square of x minus y upon 2 equals to ok. Now, the first one 1 by 2, second one we have 1 by 4, third one we have 3 by 4, fourth option we have 1. This is the question. First let me read the question. Here Okay. So, now let us come to the next problem now we have the cos x plus cos y plus cos z is equal to 0 and even sin x plus sin y plus sin z is also 0 then we need to find out cos square of x minus y by 2 sorry here not 0 this what is the option. Okay, now Actually, this problem uh, may be appeared in even complex numbers also, Demure theorem also, this problem may be there. Uh, okay, vector chapter I will discuss later, do not worry. Uh, next, uh, okay. Uh, now, so this is better to do like this now. Substitution is takes a lot of time, better directly we can do this problem. First, let us write the cos x plus cos y equal to minus cos z, say equation 1. Next, in the similar manner, the sin x plus sin y can be written as minus sin z, this is equation 2. 
now we need to think that how can we eliminate z because the cos square x minus y by 2 is among the four options one one of the option may be there isn't it now okay who is mr murthy who is mr murthy okay so now we need to eliminate it that means apply like this apply equation 1 whole square plus equation 2 whole square let us see what you get now here that means cos x plus cos y whole square we have cos square x plus cos square y a plus b whole square formula 2 cos x cos y 2 cos x cos y equal to cos square z in the similar manner the sin x plus sin y whole square we get sin square x plus sin square y plus here we get 2 sin x sin y equal to sin square z so adding these two what will happen this cos square x plus sin square x is 1 cos square y plus sin square y is also 1 so 1 plus 1 here from these two we can take out two common we have cos x cos y plus sin x sin y and also adding these two adding these two sin square cos square z plus sin square z 1 so that means now actually here we have see we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 cos x this equal to we can write cos x cos y sin x sin y cos x cos y plus sin x sin y is a bracket equals to 1. So, this we can write 2 cos of or better plus 2 this is cos of x minus y equals to 1 take 2 common if you take 2 common you get 1 plus cos of x minus y this is equal to 1. So, this we can write now this we can write now 2 into this is 2 cos square of x minus y by 2 because 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2. So, this will be 4 cos square x minus y by 2 equals to 1. Now, you can expect the answer what is cos square x minus y by 2 that is equal to 1 by 4. Okay. See the option now see the option yes second option is the right option just through the just verify on the screen work plan Vector chapter, okay. I will discuss actually. You have joined late, I think, to Sri Hari. Okay, right, is one Sri Hari. Okay, so now the question number is nine.
correct question number 9 sorry differential equation so everybody asking the different chapters so definitely everything will be covered please follow the my classes that's all so this will be absolutely free classes so you will be getting all the most of the content i will upload i try my level best again once again i'm explaining so now cos theta minus alpha cos theta cos of theta plus alpha or in harmonic progression harmonic progression then you need to find cos theta multiplied by sec alpha by 2 first option is minus root 2 see the second option is root 2 third option is plus or minus root 2 fourth option is 1 this is the question see one thing please remind to the my suggestion to the all the viewers so the one hour classes or two hour classes for each chapter is not enough for us i am frankly speaking for the sake of the preparation so we need to complete at least maximum models we need to cover so then only our classes will be ju uh, justified so that is uh, harmonic pro progression i will explain actually you might have not studied that uh, sequences and series so not to be is equal to c plus a that is uh, arithmetic progression okay then what is uh, sr what is said is right okay harmonic progression is correct the mohan krishna you are correct absolutely so now the cos theta minus alpha cos theta cos theta plus alpha or in harmonic progression then we need to find out cos theta into sec alpha by 2 yes 2ab by a plus c is the lavanya ramaya correct or we can say that 2 by b is equal to 1 by a plus 1 by c okay now let us say for our convenience this is a say this is b say this is c having been given a b c or in arithmetic progression sorry harmonic progression that means that reciprocals are in a p 1 by a 1 by b 1 by c are in a p this concept also very very useful for properties of triangles properties of triangles okay okay so now since they are in ap we can write like this 2 by b is equal to 1 by a plus 1 by c or we can write like this b is equal to ac by a plus c also correct yes gopasri correct uh, now this we can write uh, 2 divided by cos theta equal to 1 by cos of theta minus alpha plus 1 by c stands for cos of theta plus alpha any problem understood up to this step okay next we need to simplify here lcm is cos of theta minus alpha into cos of theta plus alpha okay so now here we get cos theta plus alpha plus cos theta minus alpha So next let us simplify this one, this is cos theta minus alpha, so let us simplify now, 
so this is equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b that is 2 cos theta into cos alpha by cos theta minus alpha into cos theta plus alpha you can write that is uh, cos square alpha minus uh, cos square theta minus sin square alpha you can write it okay mm. otherwise you can write like this 2 cos a cos b is equal to we have one formula cos of a minus b this is a for example say a this is b so cos of a minus b theta plus alpha theta minus alpha you will get 2 theta plus this we can write cos of a minus b theta minus alpha that means cos 2 alpha you will get it so better you write this step now so now this we can write cos 2 theta plus cos 2 alpha by 2 you can write it by 2 ok 2 comes up 2 comes up that is 4 cos theta cos alpha cos cos alpha by cos 2 theta cos 2 alpha ok hmm. now this is equal to how much given 2 cos theta this will be 2 by cos theta So, now you cross multiply it you get like this this will be 2 cos square theta cos alpha by cos 2 theta plus cos 2 alpha equals to we have 1. So, next reciprocal write down cos 2 theta is equal to we can write uh, um, 2 cos square theta minus 1 and cos 2 alpha you can write uh, 2 cos square alpha sorry 1 minus 2 sin square alpha write down by this will be 2 cos square theta cos alpha equal to 1. So, this this gets cancelled we have 2 common. So, cos square theta minus any mistake is there ok I will check the problem once again wait. Two cos theta cos alpha, okay, right. Mm, we have mm, minus we have here sin square alpha. Mm, 2 cos square theta cos alpha is equal to 1. Mm, now, we have 2 to gets cancelled separated write down here cos square theta by 
cos square theta cos alpha mm. so i will do later this problem i shall come to later something mystic is there here mm. Okay, I will discuss this problem later. Okay. So now tenth problem x cos theta. equal to y cos of theta plus 2 pi by 3 equal to z cos of theta plus 4 pi by 3 okay Yes, yes. Actually, I need to do once again. I will do this problem later. Then, x y plus y z plus z x equals to. First option is minus one. Second option is. second option is 1 third option is 0 fourth option is 2 okay first let me concentrate on this question so now x cos theta equals to y into cos of theta plus 2 pi by 3 z into cos of theta plus 4 pi by 3 then we need to find out this value here see now uh, let us take like this here because options are independent of theta take put theta is equal to 0 degrees so now what do you get x into cos 0 degrees equal to y cos of 0 plus 120 0 plus 120 degrees is equal to z into cos of 0 plus this is 240 degrees. So, we have uh, this equals to how much x cos 0 x y cos 120 minus 1 by 2 this is z cos 240 cos 240 is 180 plus 60 this is also minus 1 by 2 so this can be written we have x by 1 equals to y by minus 2 equal to z by minus 2 now we need to find out this value so that means given expression can be written as 1 into minus 2 minus 2 plus 4 and minus 2 so this will be 0 so third option yes i might have explained the explained uh, i my one minute one minute Okay, thank you. Now, the eleventh question, eleventh question. cos pi by 7 
plus cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 3 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 5 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7 plus cos 7 pi by 7. So, this is the question. Okay. So, now first option 0, second option 1, third option is minus 1, fourth option is 2. Okay, it is AP series. Let us try. Option 1. Okay, let us see. So, now cos pi by 7, cos 2 pi by 7, cos 3 pi by 7, cos 4 pi by 7, cos pi by 7, cos 6 pi by 7, cos 7 pi by 7. 7 7 cancel cos pi itself only. That is actually minus 1. Okay. So, now let us actually form the groups cos pi by 7 and cos 6 pi by 7 one group cos 2 pi by 7 and cos 5 pi by 7 one group cos 3 pi by 7 cos 4 pi by 7 one group and it is separately isolated you keep it isolated so now the c we have one shortcut in first chapter we have studied cos a plus cos b equals to 0 if or provided a plus b is equal to 180 degrees pi. So, now you check it now in the given expression pi by 7 plus 6 pi by 7 equals to pi, 2 pi by 7 plus 5 pi by 7 is also pi. So, next 3 pi by 7 plus 4 pi by 7 is also pi. So, that means, so this become 0, this become 0 and this become 0 and this become 0. So, that means, given expression is we can write 0 plus 0 plus 0, this will be cos pi cos pi is minus 1. So, option is minus 1, third option. Okay. Now, the twelfth question, twelfth question alpha is equal to uh, pi by 21, then sin 3 alpha minus sin 7 alpha. upon sin 24 alpha plus sin 14 alpha equals to so now the first option is thank you second option is 1 third option is minus 1, 
fourth option is 2. So, now alpha is equal to pi by 21 given that means first let us write this one 21 alpha stands for pi you remember this one and next we need to find out this value. Now, the given expression we can write take minus common from the numerator that we can write sin 7 alpha minus sin 3 alpha am I correct now by sin 24 alpha plus sin 14 alpha. Now, okay, now sin c minus sin d and sin c plus sin d the both formulae need to be applied. So, these two formula formulae we need to apply. So, now if you apply these two formulae you get now like this minus sin c minus sin d is equal to how much 2 cos of c plus d by 2 that is phi alpha because 7 alpha plus 3 alpha is 10 alpha 10 alpha by now um, 2 that is 5 alpha 7 alpha minus 3 alpha 4 alpha you get that is uh, sin 2 alpha am I correct upon we have this also we can write uh, 2 sin 24 alpha plus 14 alpha 24 plus 14 is how much that will be 38 so 19 alpha and cos 24 minus 14 is uh, we have 24 uh, minus 14 is 10 that is 5 cos phi alpha this cos phi alpha cos phi alpha gets cancelled 2 2 gets cancelled. Now, we have minus sin 2 alpha by sin 19 alpha this is the remaining we got it now sorry AP series or TS series ok ok. It will be applicable for uh, both Andhra Pradesh as well as uh, Telangana ok. So, I confused AP means automatic progression ok ok Andhra Pradesh ok. So, now see I already told you with the help of this this 19 alpha can be written as 21 alpha minus alpha can I write like this? 21 alpha minus 2 alpha this 21 alpha is nothing but pi pi minus 2 alpha. So, now this can be written as minus sin 2 alpha by sin of pi minus 2 alpha sin sin 180 minus theta is sin theta. So, you get now this equal to minus sin 2 alpha by again sin 2 alpha sin 2 alpha sin 2 alpha gets cancelled we have minus 1. So, third option is the right option. Okay, option 3 option 3 no problem Madhurima no problem no problem. Thirteen cos six theta minus six cos three theta minus fifteen cos two theta plus ten. upon upon cos phi theta plus phi cos 3 theta 
plus 10. Okay. Ninth question. Ninth question means please give, give, give the clue. Okay. First one is sin theta, second one is cos theta, third one is 2 sin theta, fourth one is 2 cos theta. So, generally if you re rearrange the terms of the denominator 2 cos theta we get common rest of the thing is cos phi theta plus phi cos theta plus 1. So, option will be 2 cos theta, but it can be actually okay, uh, that I will discuss okay, later. So, here better because it seems to be rather lengthy better adopt uh, put theta is equal to 0 degrees. Let us try if fails then we go for the method. Now, the given expression becomes here cos 0 1 minus 6 cos 0 one, 6 minus 15 sorry all are here I given wrong positive only plus 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 only. So, that means actually we have the plus plus 15 plus 10 upon this will be 1 plus 5 plus 10 this will be how much 25 32 by 16 2. Now, you need to verify the options. So, options means first option sin 0 0 first option has been eliminated second option cos 0 1. So, but 2 second option has been eliminated third option 0 eliminated fourth option is 2 cos 0 is 2 yes fourth option is the right option. Okay. So, 14th problem, 14th problem, see 1 plus cos 2 x plus cos 4 x plus cos 6 x minus 4 cos x cos 2 x cos 3 x equals to first option 1, second option minus 1, third option 2, fourth option is 0. So, day after tomorrow I will start second year chapters in the morning session. Okay. So, now 1 plus cos 2 x plus cos 4 x plus cos 6 x minus 4 cos x cos 2 x cos 3 x. See, so you can take like this now actually cos 4 x plus cos 2 x and 1 plus cos 6 x. If you simplify, you will be getting in terms of cos x cos 2 x cos 3 x and we shall solve the problem. So, otherwise options are independent of uh, x put x is equal to 0 degrees let us try what we get given expression. So, 1 plus cos 0 1 cos 0 1 cos 0 1 1 minus 4 into 1 into 1 into 1. So, this will be 1 is added for 4 times 4 minus 4. So, 0. So, fourth option is the right option. Ok, 
Okay, let us do. Question number is fifteen. Sin twenty degrees into four plus secant twenty degrees is equal to first option one by two, second option is root two, third option. Root three. Fourth option we have three. This is the question. I already told you. Day after tomorrow I will start. This is option four. Sir, what is the substitution method? Please tell. Substitution method. I already told you substitution method in the previous one. Here actually substitution may not be entertained because twenty degrees, twenty degrees only. Yes. Okay. So now, today any new viewers are there? Please subscribe first of all. Right. So let us try my. Uh, this question is somewhat typical problem. Let us try it now. Sine twenty degrees into four plus secant twenty degrees. Yeah, it may be. It may be. Chandu. Okay, sine twenty degrees into four plus secant twenty. We can write one by cos twenty. Can I write like this? Is correct this step? Please check it now. Uh, okay, next. So sine twenty degrees into This cos twenty degrees is the LCM we have, so that we can write four cos twenty degrees plus one. Have you checked? Right. So let us go for the next step. Next step follows. So sine twenty degrees into sorry, multiply with sine twenty. So one by cos twenty into four sine twenty cos twenty sine twenty cos twenty plus sine twenty. Okay, this step is correct. Please check step by step. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So that means we multiplied this one and this one with one. Next one by cos twenty. We have one formula. What is the formula means? Two sine a cos a equals to. We can write sine two a. So that means this we can write two times two sine twenty cos twenty plus sine twenty. Okay. Again we have. One by cos twenty into this is using this formula we can write two cos forty degrees plus sine twenty sine twenty degrees. So let us wait now. Lockdown is extended to April twenty eighth. Both M set and J E are conducting T C S on the last of May, but M set will be going to conduct after J E. Okay, you got the idea. Okay, 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 right. So let us concentrate on this problem now first. So now, this I would like to write like this. If it is correct or not, you need to write in the chat box. Cos twenty. Plus this can I split as like this, cos forty degrees plus cos forty plus cos twenty, sine twenty. Sorry. 
can I write like this? Okay. Right, right, right. That is correct. Absolutely correct. That is why only we need to check the steps. The 2 sin 20 cos 20 is actually sin 40, that is 2 sin 40. Now, this can be written as sin 40 degrees plus sin 40 degrees. Yes, correct. Now, this can be uh, in the form of sin c plus sin d. Right now, let us apply. So, now here we get 1 by cos 20 into sin 40 degrees plus sin 40 sin 20 is 2 sin 30 degrees ok sin 40 minus 20 sin 40 minus 20 is 10 uh, uh, sin 40 uh, 40 minus 20 is 20 sin 30 is 1 by 2 this will be 1 by cos 20 into sin 40 plus this can be written cos 10. Now, we need to change sin 40 sin 40 is equal to cos 50 am I correct? because 90 minus 50 this we can write 90 degrees minus 50 degrees ok. Now, this we can write 1 by cos 20 degrees into cos 50 plus cos 10 again cos c plus cos d formula that is equal to 2 1 by cos 20 degrees cancel we have 2 cos 30 means 2 into root 3 by 2. So, answer is root 3 this is not so easy problem option 3 is the correct option, but we need to do very carefully this problem has to be done. So, option 3 the right option. So, now the 16th problem, 16th problem. So, we do not have any shortcut for this problem Nana. that is why we need to do this problem. This is important you remember this problem is better to remember. So, root 3 answer ok. Three tan ten degrees to the power of six minus twenty seven tan ten degrees to the power of four plus thirty three tan ten degrees whole square equals to first option is 0, second option is 1, third option is 2, fourth option is 3, fourth option is 3. 
so these problems are actually level 2 level 3 problems that's why is are very very important so you need to concentrate on these problems generally for level 2 level 3 problems only few cases we, we can apply the shortcuts but all these level 2 level 3 problems are based on the concepts itself only so if you are actually thorough with the concepts easily the, the problem can be cracked so option 2 let us see option 2 so now 3 tan 10 degrees to the power of 6 minus 27 tan 10 degrees whole to the power of 4 33 into tan square 10 degrees so how to find out this one so let's make a plan ashwin got it option 3 okay yes sir you are correct absolutely so now let us consider like this let uh, this theta is equal to 10 degrees sorry sorry wait wait i will tell you so let us recall tan 3 theta formula what is tan 3 theta formula 3 tan theta Minus tan cube theta by one minus three tan square theta. If this formula is correct, anybody? Okay. This formula is correct. Three tan theta minus tan cube theta. We don't know, so yes, correct. So now you remember. Here, put theta is equal to ten degrees. Let us see what do we get first. Tan thirty degrees is equal to. You get three tan ten degrees because our question is in terms of tan ten degrees minus tan ten degrees. all cube here tan cube 10 degrees and 1 minus 3 tan square 10 degrees so let us make a plan like this tan 30 degrees is equal to okay one thing let us do let us assume tan 10 degrees is equal to t after simplification we can put t for 10 degrees okay tan 30 is 1 by root 3 am i correct Tan thirty is one by root three equals to three t minus t cube upon one minus three t square. Now cross multiply it. Root three times three t minus t cube equal to one minus three t square. Up to this step, we'll get it. Okay, now, in order to eliminate the square root, best better squaring on both sides. So we get now root three square is three. Three t minus t cube whole square equal to one minus three t square whole square. Let us see what do we get now here. Okay, let us see what do we get now. Here. Okay. So now we get like this: three into three t minus t cube whole square, nine t square plus t power six t cube whole square minus two into three t, six t into t cube, six t power four. Equals to one plus three t square whole square nine t power four minus six t square. Am I correct now? So that means we get now twenty seven t square three t power six 
minus 18 t power 4 equal to 1 plus 9 t power 4 minus 6 t square. Let us take term this side now 3 t power 6 minus 18 t power 4 minus 9 here. We can write minus 27 t power 4. So, minus 33 um, sorry plus 27 t square plus 60 square 33 t square equal to 1 we have. What is t stands for t is equal to tan 10. So, let us substitute t for tan 10 degrees. What do you get now here? Tan 10 degrees to the power of 6 minus 27 tan 10 degrees to the power of 4 plus 33 tan square 10 degrees equal to 1. So, answer is 1. Please check it now. See this one. So, option 2, second option. Okay. Okay, wait for a while. Okay, thank you. One minute. So, I have the idea nine, ninth one definitely because actually if I do like, so it disturbs us. Uh, tomorrow I will discuss about that problem, do not worry. So, now the next chapter is trigonometric equations, trigonometric equations, trigonometric equations. So, let us have a discussion on trigonometric equations. Okay. So, what do you mean by the trigonometric equations? What do you mean by the trigonometric equations? So, for example, if you consider like this. Suppose sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 or sin square theta is equal to 1 by 2 or sin theta plus cos theta is equal to 1 or 2 sin square theta minus 3 sin theta plus 1 is equal to 0. So, these kind of equations are called actually trigonometric equations. That means, equations are involving in trigonometric functions as the unknown angles, unknown angles. So, for example, sin theta is equal to 1 by 2 means here theta values. What are the theta possible theta values here? 30 degrees, even 180 minus 30, that means 150 is also one of the angle. Next, 
390 and so on that means so many values that means theta has infinite values infinite values so of all the values 30 degrees will be the least value this is the least value the least value this least value is actually called as principal value or principal value generally this is called pv denoted by alpha for every trigonometric equation we have the actually principal value and next infinitely values are called actually here infinite values called general solutions general solutions that means we have general solutions and next principal value general solution means infinite solutions but whereas principal value means only one value so that will be within the domain okay so now actually here see for example so let us consider one example example sin theta is equal to 0 so now we get here theta is equal to 0 degrees pi 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, even you can write plus or minus also no problem, plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus and so on. So, here the principal value is P V is alpha is equal to 0 degrees for this one, the general solution is general solution theta equals to here you can write so n pi where n belongs to z integers ok yes involving trigonometric functions of known angles are called called trigonometric equations correct so that means for example if you take cos theta is equal to 0 here the principal value is alpha is equal to 90 degrees whereas the general solution is theta is equal to odd multiples of pi by 2 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 where n belongs to z. Similarly for example if tan theta is equal to 0 in this case principal value is alpha is equal to 0 degrees whereas general solution is theta is equal to n pi. So, now we can conclude that sin theta is equal to 0 here theta is equal to n pi tan theta is equal to 0 then theta is equal to n pi whereas cos theta is equal to 0 so you need to remember theta is equal to 2n plus 1 is odd multiples of pi by 2 understood now so for example sin theta is equal to k this k lies minus 1 less than or equal to k k less than or equal to 1 and next so how to find out this one here let us say the principal value is alpha here now the general solution gs is theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha here actually n belongs to z and alpha belongs to 
here minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 always the principal value lies in this interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So, that means if you want to select alpha only whenever sin theta is equal to k form is given we need to select from minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 itself only. So, next for example, cos theta is equal to k same here minus 1 less than or equal to k, k less than or equal to 1. For example, say if the principal value is alpha general solution theta is equal to 2 n pi plus r minus alpha n belongs to z next alpha belongs to 0 comma pi that means either in first quadrant or second quadrant. So, okay. so now next tan theta is equal to k here k belongs to minus infinity comma infinity. Next for example, the say principal value is alpha general solution is equal to is theta is equal to n pi plus alpha n belongs to z and where alpha belongs to the interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2, but alpha does not equal to minus pi by 2, alpha does not equal to pi by 2. So, that means this is actually closed interval we need to consider. So, whenever actually we have the sec theta function and cosec theta function and car theta function, sec theta we need to change cos, cosec theta we need to change sin theta cot theta we need to change tan theta then you need to apply above formula okay so now important thing for example sin square theta is equal to sin square alpha cos square theta is equal to cos square alpha sin square theta is equal to sin square alpha. So, in both cases principal value is alpha then general solution theta is equal to we can write n pi plus r minus alpha where n belongs to z. So, that means why should we not uh, use ok ok. Uh, now, theta is equal to n pi plus r minus alpha. So, the, this we need to remember. So, one more thing we need to remember for example, two simultaneous equations are there that is called at most general solution. The general solution of the two simultaneous equation theta is equal to we can write 2 n pi plus r minus alpha where n belongs to z and alpha belongs to closed 0 comma 2 pi. So, this you need to remember. So, that means for example, two trigonometric equations say f of x is equal to something k, g of x is other trigonometric function some this is k 1 and k 2 you say. This is called at most general solution sorry 2 n plus pi 2 n pi plus alpha itself only. Okay? Okay. So, now So, next tomorrow we shall discuss this one a cos theta plus b sin theta is equal to c. So, when does it possess solution? So, that condition is very very important. So, tomorrow we are going to discuss about this one. I hope you might have followed the introduction about the trigonometric equations. So, the trigonometric equations problems tomorrow we will start and one more problem is there that is the ninth problem. So, we shall discuss tomorrow then we start other session till then goodbye. Thank you one and all uh, stay safe stay at home. Thank you one and all.